Hey guys, Tommy from Elevation Every Weekend. On today's video, we're going to do a real quick review of a product called the K9 Sports Sack. What this essentially is, it's a backpack uh, for your dog. Uh, so we're going to go over it right now and tell you what we got and why we got it. So if you've watched any videos on my channel, you know we have a, a recently got a puppy. Her name is Marnie. Uh, she actually is uh, five months old and weighs about 15 pounds. Getting close to being full grown, uh, we just certainly don't expect to, uh, her to get much larger. Uh, so we felt confident in you know, committing to uh, this product. Uh, but we wanted to get something where we could take her, mainly for bike riding. Um, if we we're gonna do hikes and things, those are things you know she can do on the leash. Uh, but for things like we're avid cyclists, for, so for things like bike riding, uh, this would be a great way for her to uh, go along with us and experience it that with us. Um, but uh, you know, be secure and we won't have to worry about her like keeping up or, or things like that. So the product we selected specifically is called the Air. Uh, they actually have uh, several different uh, models in their product line. Uh, this is the one we selected for a couple different reasons. Uh, it's not the lowest end, it's not the highest end, it's kind of right in the middle. Uh, but it has some good features that uh, you know, we, we felt were important. Uh, one was you get the mesh on both sides, uh, so that lets uh, her breathe, you know, keeps her from getting overheated. We do live in Colorado, and certainly in the summers it can get really hot. I wouldn't take her on a bike ride in 90, 100 degree days or anything like that anyways. Um, uh, but still, just because she's closed into this and does have longer hair as a golden doodle, um, it's felt what is important that there was good uh, uh, ventilation. Uh, the other feature that this thing had was it has pockets on both sides, which are adjustable. So you can put uh, water bottles, snacks, you know, odds and ends, dog bags, things like that in either side and, uh, you know, bring those along with you. Uh, because, you know, if I'm wearing this, I'm not going to be able to wear uh, a backpack for my bike like I normally would when mountain biking. Uh, so it's important that it have a little bit of extra storage. One of the other features uh, it has is it has a sternum strap. And it does have a whistle on it, which uh, doesn't really appeal to me, but the sternum strap certainly does. Um, as, as an avid hiker and backpacker, uh, you know, sternum strap is a, an essential item uh, on really any kind of pack. You're going to carry some weight in as far as securing it and keeping it, um, you know, locked in uh, where it should be on your shoulders for your own comfort. Um, and in this case, it helps uh, with her uh, keeping her um, from moving around and things like that and keeping her in proper position. Uh, so that was one of the other features. Not all of them have that, but that was one of the things I definitely wanted and looked out for uh, in this one. And, and it is ventilated. There's good ventilation on the actual uh, shoulder straps. Uh, thus far, I haven't had used it a lot yet, certainly not in any kind of heat, uh, but so far so good on that aspect. One of the other things I'll note about the product is just that they have uh, a number of colors. Uh, they have over 10 colors. Uh, they had a bunch on Amazon and they may have even more on their website. Uh, we wanted something bright, so we got red. We both like red. Uh, the only color we uh, did avoid was black. We just didn't feel like black. You know, if it is sunny again in Colorado, it's almost always sunny. We just didn't want her in a black bag getting, uh, you know, be, you know, having the sun beating down on her. So that would be about the only thing I'd be making a, you know, mindful of is uh, a black bag in the sun uh, might not be the best idea. Uh, but basically uh, the way it works is, well, a couple things as far as putting her in. Um, after we got it, uh, we put her in and just a couple different times and I just rode up and down the street right in front of the house just to get a sense of how she would handle it. And she did well. She Once she was in it and secured, she seemed to really like it. Once the bike was moving, she seemed to really like it. It was very difficult getting her in it uh, the first few times. Uh, she was really fighting it. She doesn't like being confined. So trying to put her in, you know, basically stuff her in a bag and zip her up uh, was, was a challenge. However, after doing it a couple times and after her seeing uh, what it is and what it's for, she seems uh, to be a little uh, more agreeable to it. Um, it does still take two of us to put her in it. We haven't gotten, hopefully we'll get to the stage where uh, me or Paige uh, uh, by ourselves can, can get her in it. Um, but right now it's still a two person project. We found the easiest way to get her in it is for uh, me or Paige uh, to actually put the pack on and then the other person from behind just kind of uh, loads her into it 
gets her settled. And uh, what, the way it secures is once she is in it, uh, the zipper zips up and then you secure uh, you know, these, these clips. And uh, her paws actually come out through these holes and kind of go uh, on the shoulders. And then her head sits right here. So you want it so she's up high enough. Uh, we did have to adjust uh, the straps and whatnot a little bit. When we first put it on, she was kind of sagging low. So you want her um, high and tight on your back for a couple of reasons. One, you want her to be close. Uh, you don't want there to be any movement or any gap uh, between her and you where she can move around or squirm around. Uh, and the other benefit is uh, if she's secured nice and tight up, up high, she can actually see and it's a lot more uh, comfortable for her and for uh, you as the rider. So uh, the other aspect is there is a, a little carabiner here. So you do want them to have their collar on and then once they're in, you put this carabiner, clip it onto their collar, onto the, the metal ring on the collar. And that's the thing that kind of keeps her um, from being able to you know, squirm out of it or anything like that, that right there. So once her legs are through and this is clipped, she's pretty much locked in. Uh, and then, you know, you just, again, zip it up, uh, secure the clips, and uh, she's been very secure. She hasn't tried squirming out of it, and I don't think she could if she even wanted to. So uh, it seems like a really good system so far. So again, uh, we did get the Air, and it's in ruby red is the color. Uh, it's rated for 30 pounds. Uh, they have five different sizes, extra small, small, medium, which is what this is, large, and what they call XX large. Um, so there's a wide range of dogs uh, that, that can fit uh, in their products. Um, uh, I'll post some links uh, below and uh, some other uh, information so you can just get a sense. But um, what you do want to do is you do need to measure your dog um, from their collar to uh, their, their tail. And you also want to take a measurement of the girth. So you want to measure uh, right behind their legs, uh, the circumference of their chest basically. Uh, and you want to use those measurements as kind of a guide uh, on what size you need. Um, so you know, it's important to do that first. Uh, and, you know, she was easily in the medium range and has still, again, still has room to grow if need be. Uh, but she fits it well now. And, um, you know, like I said, she can, if she gets a little bit bigger, that'll be fine too. So, uh, but you do need to do that to, that's how the sizing works is taking those measurements and then being mindful of the weight of your dog. So we did uh, recently do her, uh, the first real ride with her. We, we grabbed the fat bikes and uh, we went over to the local reservoir and trail system. And uh, she actually got right in it. And uh, you know, we, we did uh, a couple miles. Uh, again, just, just giving, get, you know, easing her into it. We didn't try to do any epic ride right off the bat or anything like that. We just wanted to change the scenery from the neighborhood, uh, get her out uh, under the trails new area, uh, let her get a sense for what riding in the dirt uh, would be like. We did take the fat bikes and uh, a couple reasons, uh, you know, they're just fun to ride, but uh, they are a little more comfortable with the big tires and whatnot. So uh, I probably will never do any kind of, you know, epic single track mountain biking with her on this because I just uh, don't feel uh, that that's appropriate. Uh, I'm not sure that she would enjoy it, number one. And number two, it's, you know, safety is a factor too. You know, you certainly, you don't want to crash anyways, but you certainly don't want to crash with your dog on your back. It could be really bad. So uh, the, these will only be scenic type rides on, you know, paths or gravel grinding, dirt roads, things like that. Things that are, you know, fun and scenic and, and not too crazy uh, for her and, and, you know, definitely maintain, maintains the safety. Uh, so that's the kind of riding uh, we did in the first ride with her and we'll continue to do with her, but we're looking forward to getting her out again soon uh, and just, uh, you know, doing more miles and longer rides and just kind of building up uh, on that type of thing and giving her an opportunity to adjust to it. Uh, but so far she really likes it. Uh, she, you know, was completely satisfied the entire time. No barking, no whining. Um, you know, she seemed very, very content. She seemed really happy uh, to be, uh, uh, out with us and, and riding along in the bike. So a couple more things about the bag itself. Uh, it's light, it weighs, uh, uh, the, the, the figure on the website is 1.1 pounds and it is light. There's, it's completely pliable. Uh, there's no like a board in there or anything like you would have on like a, you know, 
backpacks and things like that. That's not what this is, not what it's designed for. I can tell you when she's in it and cinched in, um, it feels like a solid pack on your back. They do sell a couple things on their website that you might want to check out. Uh, they sell, uh, you can make customized name tags, so they have like a hook and loop uh, pad here. Uh, you can put anything you want on it, but they actually sell uh, uh, custom name tags to size so we we took advantage of that and got one um, the other thing they sell uh, they call it a, a block um, and it's uh, for some dogs that you know may not fit just quite right yet um, you can get a booster block and it'll kind of boost them up and get them where they need to be so um, just a couple options that they have I, th I think the name tag was about fifteen dollars uh, definitely check out their website uh, if you're interested in the products uh, I'll post some links down below. I'll post a link to their website and the Amazon link, which is what we went through. Uh, we paid uh, just under $70 for this one. Uh, it wasn't on sale or anything. So uh, it seemed like a reasonable price. Uh, you know, someone who has bought uh, good backpacks over the years and spent a lot more on those. Um, I feel like the construction and the quality uh, is, is reasonable in that price range for this. Um, we'll certainly see as time goes on how it holds up and we'll certainly probably do an update uh, at some point during the future. Uh, but so far so good. Real happy with the product. Uh, she seems to like it and uh, we'll be uh, posting more uh, when we get a chance. So if you found this uh, video helpful, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, post them down below. I'll certainly try to answer those for you. Um, if you're interested in uh, bikes or fat biking, I've got other videos on the channel uh, focused on that. And if you're interested in uh, the dog, Marnie, golden doodles, anything like that, getting a new puppy, uh, we've got some videos on that too. So please check those out. Again, I'll post some links below. Uh, thanks for stopping by uh, and have a great day.